sort of begin with the ancient and renowned art of ripstick broadsword training. So, <clears throat> no. Ripstick's not a bad little tool you can use. Um, more for abdominal strength and again as a bit of a warm up. So if you, if you do quite tight circles, get your body moving, again, good for midsection, good for the core, core stability and core strength. But <clears throat> a few more points about the broadsword. So when you hit the broadsword, when you're doing this in a drill or when I'm just moving around wielding it, trying to avoid hitting dogs obviously on the, on the way, it's a bit of a nasty thing. I'm not trying to hit like a club, it's more like a slash. So you can imagine the, the blade slashing across someone and opening them up. The sharp end of the blade rather than hitting them. So you're, you're pulling it through quite tightly and that makes your body, again, do a fair bit of, fair bit of work. So it's a bit different from, say, the walking stick drill, which is much lighter and can be done further up from the body. This one really emphasizes getting, getting low and getting your body and getting really quite energized behind, behind the weapon. And other thing I was mentioning to practice is you can pretend this is someone's arm. So as you're, as you're striking, you can imagine you're sort of coming under, coming under something. This is a stationary arm, and then you keep on going. So again, quite a good way to good way to train the midsection and work on getting more power with the body, and also visualizing again moving around people and seeing how you can leave your body in space around other obstacles or opponents. So yeah. So just to reiterate, when you're using the broadsword, you're going to try and slash rather than club. So slash, get in the body, body behind it, and get it moving nice and smoothly, building up a fair bit of torque with the midsection. Okay.